Thanks, Jared. Well, we started on a Friday night, then we took over on Sunday nights. The boys have been banging on about midweek prime time. Well, we've got it. Here it is, Bounce on a Wednesday night. <laughs> All right, we're back for 2014. If you're unsure about just why we're here, you'll find out in just a moment. But the good news is the best performers in the business are back right alongside me. Danny Frawley, Alistair Lynch, and the man that everybody loves, Andrew Gaze. Gents, how are we? Good, good Chief. Great good. to be here, mate. But we're absolutely flying on a Sunday yep. night. Just <laughs> smashed every uh, show on Sunday. What, what's the story? What is the story? It's a, it's a twofold thing. A, you've been gobbing off about weekends for minnows yeah. and midweek prime times when the big guns go. Yeah. <laughs> and B, it's a slightly soft time slot, so they brought in the troubleshooters, mate, and that's us. So you got what you wanted. So we're the big troubleshooters. We come out with the big the bazookas. The big kahunas are in, mate, on a Wednesday night. But what, uh, we smashed 60 Minutes and all those shows, yeah. Revenge and, yeah. and all those uh, other Revenge, shows. Revenge, I None think of those on, on a Sunday night, night but we all right. Well, we used to be called, get, uh, get smart, we used to be called BTB, mm. before, before the bounce, bounce. Yeah. and yeah. then oh, yeah. ATB. After the, After the bounce. And now we're probably I-T-M-O-F-Bs. <laughs> What's that? In the middle of the bounces. <laughs> so in the middle of the week. What about N-W-N-T-B-B? What's that one? Nowhere near the bloody bounce. <laughs> well, the other well, thing... What about you both stop talking rubbish? Hey? No, well, the other thing is, given that uh, what we've seen with some of the bounce-up situation during the NAB Challenge, I reckon we'll be called the throw-up before long. No, nah, they got the act together late in the, the balls the up or something. No, nah, no, nah, they were a bit rusty early, like all the players. <laughs> right, I thought right. they got their bouncing uh, magnificent their there at the end. Mm. Oh, what about the set? Yeah, I mean, it looks we, sparkling. We've moved it? from Studio 1 to Studio yep. 2 and the set's mm. outstanding. Now, I must admit, I mean, the boys have done a great job. I was in here this morning and had a look at the boys uh, in action. I was put on the tool belt as well, I must say. Well, but well, I've had a look at this footage, Lynch, and I don't see morning. you anywhere. Well, I just subbed out for five seconds just to grab the iPhone and film it. Uh, but this is, seriously, earlier in the week and today, the boys have done a great job. So, no, really good start. Yeah, uh, full-on applause to the boys. They've done an outstanding job with the new studio. But if we've got a new studio, is there any danger you might come up with a new segment? And <laughs> well, once again, once again, we're going to give the Alistair Lynch token segment a run. You've done brain no. snaps, you've done what happened next, you've done coast to coast. Yeah. They've all died a slow no. death, mate. No, I tell you, they haven't been token segments. It's been token support from you, blokes. That's been the problem. <laughs> no, I've got something, and it's massive, and uh, I've probably just got to sort a couple of things out with copyright and uh, a few legal issues I've got to cover off, but I'm all over it. Now, the, obviously, the aim is to go more than three weeks. <laughs> Um, now, <laughs> coast to coast, it's going to be hard to match that. Brain Snaps was massive for a while, but I'm probably going to struggle to miss what happened next. So, if we can get it three weeks, we'll be right. So, I'm if really confident. If you can't eclipse yeah. the three of those, they'll yes. be really disappointed. No, I'm all over it. I'm really confident. We all had right. a chat before, and I think you're quietly confident too. Yeah, oh. but it was what about a, a, a clap here for Jay? Seamless handover from Ruse to Dunstall on the couch. Brilliant. Oh, no. Nice. Brilliant. Do, I'm waiting for the pass line. Now, do you, you don't the, give compliments. No, no, but do you get to eat before the show? Do you, you know, have a... Because oh. we had some pasta. Yeah, I have no idea where this because, is going. Because uh, on Monday night, I thought it was a fantastic show, but I thought you were actually going to eat, Mike. You're actually going to eat him. <laughs> What about oh, working with staff, actually? You know, you know, with you. So let me, let me tell you right now. <laughs> the way you're looking at him, though, so look. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say this? I'm only the middle peg in the food chain there, because to my left was the CEO of the oh, AFL. Oh, 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 he could have oh, leaned over and eaten me, I reckon. Eaten a lot of you, I reckon. A lot of people tweeted in on what a magnificent show it was, and uh, the young lady, Emmett O'Reilly, she tweeted in. So mm. have a look at this. Uh, I can't wait to see Crazy Challenge Mike Sheen and Jason Dunstall get up the next week. So she's got, she's got hashtag cage fighting. <laughs> now that would be something to say. Who, nice. who do you reckon win that one? I think the Chief oh, might just have him. He might dance you around the ring a little bit. You know, it's actually, it's actually fun to do an intelligent, intellectual show. <laughs> no, and no. then, when I need a little bit of comedy relief, I come here to you. Yeah, no, but we, no, just cage fight. How would you go with Mike? Just tell us your first move on Please. Mike. <laughs> Off the turnbuckle. Pro probably the suplex. <laughs> yeah, probably like a toothpick. Now, it has been a long summer. Um, mm. We need a... What's been the highlight of your off-season? It can be football-related or otherwise, Spud. Yeah. No, no, it's football related for mine, and I thought uh, you, you had a shoulder op operation, didn't you? you had yeah, no, I had a big summer, it got the shoulder fixed up, so I've recovered pretty well, I think. How'd the other surgery go? 
No, no, I only had the shoulder done. No, the other surgery, the old eye, oh, the old eye suppose. <laughs> I was watching the draft. I was watching the draft. Have a look at this. Look at the left <laughs> of the screen. Oh, 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 yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> I didn't realise. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, the old hopper. It just keeps poking in, <laughs> didn't you? Oh, no, no. Well, I had to take a couple of inches off, but that's all sorted now. What about your summer, Jase? You've been all over the place now. Normally see you maybe in the US, but you're headed to mm. Europe. And it looks like that was pretty good. You went to watch uh, Liverpool and Aston Villa? Did I? Yes, mm. you did. <laughs> yes, I did. Sounds all right, <laughs> Certainly took a flyer there, didn't you? Oh, there's a look at you. Now that's... Look at that neck. Bit of Gladstone oh, small neck going there. Just... No, nah, but in all seriousness, that looked, looked like it was a little bit mocked up, but you did go to the Davis Cup. Did, and had a ball, yes. La Roche so yep. And uh, now, how the west was of that? France. Yeah, and... Fantastic. We had great seats, and we were over there to cheer on the Aussie. Boys didn't quite pan out the way we wanted, but Well, just let's have a look in the background there. In row one, we'll see here in a minute, Jace. This is legit Jason Dunstall. Front row, great seats, as you said. Oh. It's with the moustache and the beret. Oh. <laughs> Who's put that on? Oh, they were good seats. Though. Yeah, they were great <laughs> seats. Fantastic. Looks like you're we're in a lot of fair crowd. Hey, hey, Chief, now, while we're cranking on you, we've got one of the superstars, Sandy Roberts, coming on board. Yes. And what a promo we saw with you. Just uh, going out there and, and being Cupid, playing Cupid. Here's some of your work here. Funnily enough, Drew, I got a lot of useful feedback about this <laughs> from uh, family and friends and uh, and whatnot. Yeah, it's uh, it was brilliant stuff. I mean, very cute. There you are up there. But because that was a of breaking that, strain on the uh, the wire. <laughs> the tension oh, needed to be. They had the double uh, <laughs> set up there just to make sure they could hold the big fella. But um, the the, uh, the vision went viral, and we saw it at the uh, the World Eight Ball Federation. Actually, saw what you did and said. We need to be, be a part of this. And here you are, just doing a little promotional work with your Cupid on the World Oh, Apple no. I must say. Ah, Where's this ah, come from? I must it's a new season, <laughs> a new this. show. Dude, and what is that? You're a promotional machine, mate. I must just say, everywhere. they get us to do some pretty <laughs> yeah. different promos yeah. at times. And yeah. I, was a bit, uh, I was a bit put off by a couple that I had to do. But then I looked at yours <laughs> and I thought, how can I argue with that? Mate, Great. you've got to keep, uh, you got to stop eating in in the commentary box. Eating. Though, seriously. No, it's all... When you go to the football, you've got to it's focus a, it's on the play. Have, have a look. Eating. Have a look in the background here. Have a look. Have a look how quick his jaw's going. He actually... He had a couple of sausage rolls. He snorted those early. Now, what they did... What they did... They got the X-ray machine down that Eddie had and they X-rayed uh, our very own Jason Dunstall and there was four par party pies without a bite in them whatsoever. Well, they X-rayed right. his little well, belly. I must say, we have changed from Sunday night to Wednesday, but the opening seg yeah. has pretty much stayed the same. Seems like the agenda has stayed the same, but if we're going to talk about the old Bobby Lutz, <laughs> what sort of paddock do you think Danny Frawley has been in mm. looking at the NAB challenge? Just take me through a little bit of this work, Spud. Look at the paunch there. It's just ballooning hey, out that's a bit. That's a bit of wind. Mate, it is ballooning out a bit. And then look what he does, very carefully. He changes hands with the mic to try and smother it with the arm, and then he's holding his breath. But you've been in the paddock too. Don't you start throwing stones, my friend. <laughs> You've paunched up. You've paunched up. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit there. There's a little bit of a roof over the tool shed, I would have thought. Now, Gazy. Yes. There's been uh, SEN, you're doing a wonderful job there on morning radio, but happened to drive to work the other day. <laughs> yeah. And I couldn't believe it. You reckon that I have got a bigger head than you? Oh, there's nothing short yeah. of that. Oh, 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 sweet. No. Yeah. It's not, look, it's not your fault you've got to <laughs> buy two uh, tubes of um, suntan cream, one for your body, one for your bonds. <laughs> right, now. Mate, it's my that fire's got its own <laughs> postcard. There's no way known. My head is as Turn it up. I mean, look at this. I, 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 the thing about you and me is coming, I, coming I admit it. Well, that, you've yeah. got, you have got a much larger bonce than me. Well, we're going to prove it after the, uh, before the end of the show. We're going to get right? the measure out? No, I'll get Lynchy. I'll get Lynchy to do it. I'll leave there with Lynchy. I'll tell you what we'd like to do. We will measure both heads <laughs> at the end of the show. Now, of course, Spud and I have both had ours done, yeah. and yours actually was just, just a little a bigger smidgen, than mine. I know I've smidgen. got a fat head, so have you, but <laughs> yep. yours is ginormous, Casey. So we're going to measure them at the end of the show, and we'd love you to tweet in and tell us who you think oh, great. has so, got just the bigger head. So jump on at... <laughs> 
Fox footy. Just tweet us something that uh, might give you an indication as to who has the bigger head out of Spud or Gazia, and we will revisit Just those tweets one, later on in the show. One thing. Is that long enough? I'm not, I'm not yeah, sure. Can I? <laughs> it's long uh, enough. Can I? Um, Carl. Hey, now, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Everyone stop. Everyone stop. Yeah. Now that we've got reacquainted with ourselves, can yeah. we just be serious for a moment? Right. We have got something brand new to bounce this year. Mm. We have got the it? first official AFL quiz. Now, this is a rich, serious quiz to determine who is the smartest player in the AFL. This is going to be extraordinary, Spud. This well, is going to be a lot I'm of fun. I'm the smartest panellist here. There's no doubting that. Oh, yeah. Well, not just sure. the fact I'll that you said that so quickly probably <laughs> tells people I'll ask you a lot. question. Who is the longest-serving yeah. skipper at St Kilda? Nathan Burt. Mm. Oh, come on. Robert Harvey. Rewald. Have a look at the... Oh. Stewie Lowe. Come Danny on, boys, Corey. you know that. Let me just say this. I knew. You, you had to get yourself in. You're getting very nervous, aren't you? What about? Who's, who's not far behind you? Oh, Rewald's on 160. So he's 17 games behind. Yeah. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 177 and he's 160. Well done. You're good at that's, mathematics. That's not something that always comes easy to you, Spud. So I just wanted to set it out for you because Danny Frawley was joined by Nick Revolt in the commentary box during the NAB Challenge mm. and they spoke about what might happen. You're very proud of your record as the longest serving oh. captain oh, at St. Don't tip into it, Nick. Don't tip into it. <laughs> How did they have that list ready to go? Well, I would have thought uh, the producer would have done his homework, and he yeah, has. Probably got it's a well prop done. from you, did he, about no, the I wouldn't have thought longest so. serving captains? No, it would be uh, good to hand the baton over to the young fella. What about a tie, Spud? That would be good. Well, Mark Taylor did yeah, uh, the... with Don Bradman. So, no. so am I Mark Taylor and you're the Don? <laughs> <laughs> How high are you the rating top. yourself, Spud? Calling yourself the Don, Don Bradman. Brad I've got to hit myself somewhat there. That's not a wobble. <laughs> how, how are you going to go? How are you going to well, go? Define you... me, really. It, it's it's great to have that tag, but that's, well, that was the super it, under your name. They're, they're you're reeling you in like a fish. So you're if you're going to buy, lose that tag, I just just morph into out of space just and just become disappear. a spud. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'll be very very happy for Nick Rewald. It, it's probably a bit oh, like. Yeah, cool. I drive a Ute, he drives a Mercedes, and that's probably the best way to describe our careers, I would have thought. But, look, let's forget about that. This is what we're all talking about, fellas. Remember oh, no. uh, the it's emotional back, presentation? With, we don't. No, no, last, back. last year, we know Brian Lake won the Norm Smith, and yep. Josh Gibson won the best and fairest. Now, as we know, I got a little bit late to the celebrations on the Sunday, and a couple of weeks ago I went out and presented the Golden Fist to the boys. Now, looking at their premiership medals, Norm Smith, their best and fairest, they couldn't wait to get that. And just to show, wind it back to the grand final. Have a look at Josh Gibson after the grand final. A couple of minutes after. Have a look at this. Patrick Keane, the uh, AFL media man, ran out. And there's Jackie Russell there to say, Josh, you've got two votes. You've tied with Brian Lake to tie for the Golden Fist Award. <laughs> Well, that's what it's about. No, he's shattered. That's what he is. It's destroyed his day. No, 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 no. He, hey, don't worry. Look out for next week. Uh, Brian Lake and Josh Gibson and the, the new engraving. Have a look at this. Have a look. Seabus Super. That's it. Have a look at the new engraving. They're on board. Ma oh, magnificent. Magnificent sponsors of ours. And look, I know you guys are jealous. <laughs> It's going all around Australia now. We'll on that note, that later we on. actually might take a quick break on Bounce. But on the other side, we're going to give you a sneak peek of the world's richest AFL quiz. And to give you an example of how it's going to work, Spud and myself. It's coming up next. What is the first letter in the English alphabet? Is it A, C, B, D, C, A, or D, B? What is the first letter in the English alphabet? Well, it's A, isn't it? I don't know, mate, is it? Well, yeah. So you want me to lock that in? <laughs> yes, please, Eddie. Lock in A. Yep. Oh, well, hang on. What I mean is C. C? Yeah. First you said A, and now you, now you want to change it to C. Well, what do you want me to lock in? The answer is A. It's locked in. So you're locked in C? Shut up. Well, that is $1 million. What is the first letter in the English alphabet? You said A. Meaning C. The answer is C. A is the first letter in the English alphabet. <laughs> now, that's not going to happen on our quiz. I can guarantee you that. 
It is going to be a fantastic quiz for AFL players, a serious quiz. We're going to find out who the Smarties are. And guess what we brought back for the weekly prize, boys? The old Bataki ham is back in Beautiful. play. Now, massive prizes coming up for the eventual winner, but this is going to be... Uh, look, it's going to be educational. I suspect it's also going to be enlightening about what some of the players are like off-field. Mm. Mm. And, Spud, we had to give it a, yep. a dry run, didn't we? <laughs> oh, so... a dry run. Like, seriously, <laughs> even I had a crack. Who do you think would win? Like, we played Scrapple. <laughs> Good at to, you know. <laughs> I get cont- cont- well, here's how Spud and I went. Let's oh. join our quiz master extraordinaire, Jared Waitley. <laughs> Gentlemen, would you toss a coin to decide who will go into the soundproof booth? I'm a gentleman, so I'll call. <laughs> Tails, I win, I'm in the booth. <laughs> nice. A qualification program has been undertaken. Oh. Ten oh. standardised questions. These are five unique questions <laughs> to add to the scoring from there. Jason, you're a 49-year-old from oh. the University of Queensland. Don't take you there. Whose favourite subject is lunchtime, and you bring forward a score of 52. None too shabby. Jason, your chance to add here. <laughs> and they get progressively harder, the Progressively questions? harder. Oh. I will tell you what each is worth as we go. Question okay. one, Jason, is for six points. What is the official duration of the LP American Pie? Oh. Eight minutes 34, <laughs> eight minutes 33, <laughs> eight minutes 32, or eight minutes 31? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the easiest That's question. That's the gimme to get you going. Yeah. Just a little easy oh, input. Give me a spell. Uh, uh. Quickly. A834. It is B833. What a surprise. Close. That's Bad out by a second. Yeah, that's, that's, second. that's quite the miss. That was uh, the easy question. Question Good. two is for nine points. Jack Titus kicked how many career goals? Ooh. 968, 970, 972, or 974? Mm. <laughs> That's uh, 970. That is correct. Yes. Yes. Well done, oh, Jason. Nice. Flip yeah, that flip that flip flip stab is not worthwhile. Question three is for 15 points. You're on 61. Slightly harder. Which of these countries is double landlocked? A, Uzbekistan. B, Turkmenistan. C, Kyrgyzstan. D, Tajikistan. Too easily. This is a fair stitch up, this one. I'm not sure. Um, go Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan? The correct answer is A, Uzbekistan. Oh, oh that's awesome. You remain on 61. <laughs> <laughs> Question four <laughs> is for 30 <laughs> points. <laughs> Which film won Best Picture in 1964? <laughs> a, Mary Poppins. B, My Fair Lady. C, Zorba the Greek. D, Dr. Strangelove. 1964. Yes. Oh, Famous that's, year. That's an easy one. Zorba, that's an easy one. No, don't say an that. easy one? I reckon that's a reasonably easy Jason, one. Jason, need an answer? I will go My Fair Lady. Correct answer is My Fair Lady. Yes, well yes. done. Jason goes for 91 points. That's my now boy. bring it home with 40 points here, Jason. Question five. What is the 77th element on the periodic table? Oh, I turn it up. <laughs> hey, 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 keep your own stuff to yourself. A, osmium, B, iridium, C, platinum, D, gold. The 77th element. Yeah. I got platinum, Jared. Not correct. The correct oh, answer yeah, is B, iridium. iridium. So, Jason, you max out at 91 points. Good effort. Still oh. competitive total. Well That's played. That's good. Well Danny Didn't Frawley. Know any of the questions. <laughs> out you come. Mate, can I just... <laughs> <laughs> the questions are tough. I mean, seriously. Some of the easy ones. They were all one-pointers, You surely. knew them, did you? <laughs> Danny... It's a formidable total to try to chase down 91 <laughs> and shake the booth. A 50-year-old Danny Frawley with a qualifying score of 44. Mm. Bung- Bungaree Bungie prep, prep is your educational qualifications. And ear massaging is your <laughs> <laughs> subject. That's right, Mr Whiteley. Fair enough. OK, Spud. So just want to get in game mode, please, Jared. Please do. OK, here we go. OK. <laughs> Chasing 91, starting at 44. Question one, Danny. 
for six points. How many verses are there in the national anthem? Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> A1, B2, C3, D4. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, early hiccup. Time oh. o'clock here, Spud. Two. Two is correct. Well done, <laughs> well done Danny. No, I was, I was just building the drama on you, but it's just... Tough question, question two is for nine points. How many career goals did Tony Lockett kick? A, 136, B, 1300, C, 1360, or D, 1400? I'll go for... Oh, no. C. Correct. 1,360 oh, goals. Yeah. Up Fuck. to 59. Still work to be done here, He's Danny. better than you, too. <laughs> question three is for 15 points. Tough questions now. Tough. What is referred to informally as the island continent? Oh, you can't be serious! <laughs> A, Ireland, B, Fiji, C, New Zealand, or D, Australia? Oh, jeez! Let me think! <laughs> He doesn't even know! Jared? Danny? Australia. Australia is correct. Who's the only country here? 74 points and chasing, oh. still chasing, Ooh. Danny, concentrate. Which film, this is for 30 points, question four. Yeah. Which film won the Best Picture Oscar in 2014? Oh, it was on a week ago! Just no! No! A, 12 Years a Slave, B, The Wolf of Wall Street, C, Gravity, D, Her. Mm. Oh, no. This the Wolf of Wall Street! No. Oh, no! no. You're joking! <laughs> It's no. 12 years of slave. Oh, no. <laughs> you bozo. <laughs> he still could lose this. So now to the final question. Oh, oh no. If I get it right, do I win, Jared? Each week we will be playing for a Batoki ham in the head-to-head -head contest. So it all comes down to this. For 40 points, Danny, question Mr. five. Mr. Whateley, I got ahead of myself on that last one, <laughs> so I'll concentrate. What is the second element on the periodic table? A, hydrogen, B, helium, C, lithium, oh, D, beryllium. <laughs> this is the greatest stitch-up ever! <laughs> Can you run those? Oh, uh, oh, no. oh, no! Come on, Danny, hydrogen, think, helium, look, lithium, I, beryllium. I think of Jason's um, <laughs> cranium, and I think it's full of helium! Helium is great! <laughs> Well, 114 points over the top of Jason Dunstall in the final stride. <laughs> and Danny, that means you are leaving here with the Botoki Ham. You're wrong. Spud, 114. Oh, no. Jason, 91. So, there's your format. I'm little, shaking your hands. Well done. Well done. I'm big enough to admit I got stitched, so it's all good. Come on, mate. I was like taking candy off a baby. Hey, but the thing is, what was the deal with well, the soundproof booth? Two things, it didn't Jason. seem to be working all that well. There are, there are two things you need to understand. <laughs> The soundproof booth isn't that soundproof. <laughs> right. And B, the questions, was one of the great stitch-ups of all time. But that was just a trial run. It is going to be a 100% ridgy dig quiz. And we're very lucky mm. to have Higher Education Institute Holmes Glen on board with us. So they will be providing us with the official questions. They were just questions that uh, Jared Waitley knocked up for us. And mm. uh, as you can see, some are weighted a, a little bit more difficult than some of the others. Not uh, only that. And he still nearly gassed it. Not only that. We've got Steve Us super fun. We know that. But... Uh, uh, this was the winning formula. We've got Swiss on board. Memory and yes, focus. Yes. If you would have had those, you would have won by the length of Flemington State, my friend. Swiss have come on board. They have. The it's great sponsors. to have them on board, Spud. But as always, uh, we know that Seabus Super look after the Golden Fist. So yep. if you want Super that's simple and easy to manage, Seabus Super is the one for you. All right, what do you got for us, Spud? Oh, not only that, uh, did you see the, uh, the Herald Sun? Mm. Magnificent newspaper. Mm. They're on board. He, Josh yep. Gibson, we know, won the best and fairest premiership. Have a look at his pose in the Herald Sun. Have a look at this.
It was absolutely you magnificent. Took a of its Look, what? Oh. oh, this is a stitch up. <laughs> this what is do you mean a, it's a stitch up? It, well, it's a double page. It, the form guide shouldn't be there. <laughs> See, the, all I'm worried about is the Gibson fist. This is what it should have been. Form like. guide's so, lift out. That's so. what it should have been. Pull like. it out, Einstein. The lift <laughs> out. No, well, let, well, look. Not only that. Uh, in pre-season, I've been spreading the Seabus Super Golden Fist love all over the country. I started Old Brighton, whose coach is Simon Williams, but he refers to be punchy. Roll tape. <laughs> <laughs> What? This is not the way to train. What? Punch the bloody ball! Yeah. Punchy, what's going on? What do you mean? What's this crap? Bring it in, boys! What's that fancy out in the hands now? Grow some plums! It's all about the fist! You want to win the A grade premiership? Well, do ya? No media! We all know what wins premierships, don't we? It's defence now! Get out there! Come on, guys! Boys, I just can't believe it. I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm starting to get a little bit emotional. Just let's give us the fist. Aren't you? That's what I'm talking about. Good luck this year, you're going to win it easy. Here it is. First game of the year, all right? We know what we've been all about pre-season. It's about getting the ball into our forwards, all right? I don't care about anything down back or in the middle. Just get the ball in there, get it to their advantage. You blokes have got to believe that if we get it in there enough, we're going to score, and we're going to score plenty. I mean, you blokes, don't worry about tackling or any of that sort of stuff. Just put it through the middle. Cut right there, Dale. It's about as exciting as a kick in the plums, mate. What's this crap? I tell you what, this is the way it's done. Have a look at this, fellas. What's that all about? Fist. Here it is. What is it? This, 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 OK, boys. High ball, direct opponent in front. What do we do? We, we punch, punch the ball, Slade! What do we do? We, we punch the ball, Slade! You're on your own. No one around you zoned off. Do we take an easy mark in the chance? They're out in front like a little showboat. What do we do? We, we punch, punch the ball, Slade! Where do we punch it to? 12 rows back, Slade! That's right, now we're talking. OK, you're on your direct opponent. He's right on you, the high ball. What do we do now? We, we punch the ball, Slade! Exactly! OK, boys, here it is. You want to touch it? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Do you want me to pop it, boys? The golden fist, you want to see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! I tell you what. That's brilliant. Great thanks to old Bright, Lee Springwood. Pop, what do you think, fellas? This fist is getting out of control, but what you have done, Spud, is you're giving hope to all those players that can't play. Oh, don't worry about it. It's going all the way around Australia. To raw defenders at all levels of the game. That's right, all levels. Seabus Super is taking the Golden Fist to local footy clubs around Australia. That's right, right around Australia, even in Tasmania. Register now at seabussupergoldenfist.com.au <laughs> to get your free replica Golden Fist trophy. There's only a limited number available. It's about 5,000. Anyway, <laughs> registered teams will also have the chance to win a visit from me. Well, we'll know about that, but anyway, well, yeah, Mr. Natural, you know, simply tell us in 25 words or less. How you'll be awarding the Golden Fist Trophy for the team this season. Now, Backman, at all levels, you'll have an award to play for in 2014 season, boys. How'd you like my ad <laughs> <laughs> <Very>. <laughs> yeah. oh, Nice auto-cue, Reese, <laughs> And you butchered that, too. Did I, did I hear you say roll tape in the I did, I did. I said roll. Does roll tape mean you've just got to wait till the next bit comes yeah. down? But anyway, um, uh, as we said, good. you get on Seabus Super Golden Fist, Dot com dot au. What do you think, boys? Defenders have really started to take prominence when it comes to all awards now, haven't they? Mm. Well, that's right. You know, they reckon one of the key stats, intercept marks and, you know, getting back flooding tape marks. Just punch some bloody thing <laughs> over the fence <laughs> and you'll win this, boys. The three defenders have picked up best and fairest at their club. Oh, look at that. That's an indictment on the league. Premiership player, <laughs> premiership best and fairest. Doesn't happen. How many did you win the premiership year? 
Mason Ferris? Come on. Okay. <laughs> Josh gives one. Norm Smith, Brian Lake at the age of 32. Harry Taylor, <laughs> second in the BNF, absolute superstar. Probably needs to take a little bit more um, fist there, Harry, and probably get up, up there. And look, Joel Patful, I think, won a couple. A third, the BNF for Troy Chaplin. Um, the defenders, it's starting to take note. No doubt that. We're going to have our own function at the end of the year. I don't know where we're going to have it. Mm. The Brownlow Medal obviously has that mm. uh, award there for all the midfielders. That award. So, uh, well, it's a magnificent award, but our little award is growing legs, Jason. You know it. Uh, Admit just, it. I know you're keen to move on, Lynch, but just yeah. before we do, I know the tweets have been coming in thick and fast. We spoke about measuring yes. the respective heads mm. of Andrew Gaze, who's now trying to cover his up. You can take that off now, mate. No, well, actually... And I'll... Danny Frawley. Yeah. Uh, what's, the, <laughs> what's the theme of the tweets that are coming through at the moment? Well, there's a, a, a new theme that everyone did note that the hat actually fit my head but didn't quite get on Spud's head. But uh, generally, it's going my way. Spud has the biggest sponsor. That was by Susan Olsen, Stephen Walters. I reckon Spud does a pretty good impersonation of the Hindenburg aside on. Spud looks like he's been stung by a swarm. His head's been stung by a swarm of bees. Oh, oh. These types of comments are, are coming in here, Spud. So much, I think they um, can clearly see what's going on. How much land tax do you play for your boots? <laughs> Mate, seriously, you got, it's got its own boats. Well, I'll boats. tell you what, all will be revealed a little later on because Lynch <laughs> yeah. is going to get... The tape measure no, out. Really That's really good. We that. need to take a break. We've got Gazy's Turn It Up coming. We've got Ooh. Spud's Coach Killers. We might even Ooh. find out what Lynch is doing for us as well. Ooh, we start off with some of the Turn It Ups uh, of, of the season. And this is in the World Championship. If you want a bit of quiet when you are uh, doing it, well, that didn't happen. A little bit of noise in the crowd there. Mickey Moldhouse saw that. You know what he said? He said this. Turn it up. At the uh, Community Shield game, uh, much. Just get up, man. Yeah. And uh, this is how she like just to prepare to psych yourself up. Yeah. And this is, of course, we met, we saw her yeah, earlier. Turn it up on. Michelle Jenke. Get herself going. What is the turn it up? What's the turn it up? Well, <laughs> we're turning it up. Oh no! Uh, you're turning it up on no. any blokes like you. No, no, you're turning it up. <laughs> you got to know your boundaries. Yeah. Coming in here, a little bit of a wet oh. willy comes around the front, goes a little oh. too far. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Mick saw that, and this is what he had to say. Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> We've been waiting. You've, you've all heard the saying, there's no show without punch. Well, our punch is Andrew Gaze's turn up. This show doesn't function unless Gazy brings it to the table. Here it is. You won't put it through? Of course he will. No. How's that? Yes, and we're back again for another year, 2014. And the American sports, in particular baseball, America's uh, game, that's starting up and all the pre-season going is, is started. The Marlins were taking on the bets. And we all know that uh, when you, the ball goes into the stands, it's for the fans. And sometimes they get a little bit aggressive and lose perspective on actually what's important. Have a look at this. This was yesterday. The ball bounces, so it goes over the fence. And you think, oh, well, just going to run. But have a look in the back there. My man leaves his kid in the pram oh. and the pram goes down. All this for a $4.50 baseball. Come on, Pops. Turn it up. Now, <laughs> next up we have uh, this day and age we're seeing things and people are just getting lazy the way they go about. And, and pizza delivery, we sit at home and, and we want our pizza delivered. But sometimes the pizza delivery man really doesn't go the full length to provide the service which we believe we're paying for. In the UK, this is the way they uh, one pizza guy was rolling with it. Have a look at this. There's no way he's going to throw that pizza up. Oh, he is. He's launching the pizza. <laughs> now, now you at least you expect to go one flight of stairs, knock on the door, here's your pizza. Now, the continuation of that, the bloke threw down his money and off he went. But pizza, man, come on, oh, no. make an effort. Turn it up, young man. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the absolute superstars of world sport. You know, fellas, he's on $26.5 million a year, which equates to uh, $72,000 a day, Australian oh. dollars. So he's getting... 
well uh, compensated for his efforts. <laughs> well, well you reckon you get a bit of respect mm. when you're out there because you, you, you're playing at the highest level and you're one of the greatest of all time. Well, not in this game. Have a look at this. Young man there, the ball boy's got the ball. He says, no, Cristiano, oh, you come and get it yourself. Boop, oh. cop that. Go fetch. Oh. Now, you should have let over and clipped him. Oh. Young oh. man. Oh, you can't do that. Young oh. man, ball boy, turn it up. He's one of the greatest of all time. Give the ball back. You're there to do a service. Get on with it, I would have thought. Yeah, I reckon I he's, he's the away player. He's got to go get his own yeah. ball. Now, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, there's a bit going on. There was a guy that uh, the SWAT team, the American SWAT team, the local SWAT team, was out there to search and uh, try and get him because he was up for armed robbery. They went to the house, and you've got, I think, six or seven SWAT people just trying to get this armed robber. Now, this is how they deal with a pug that's out the front of the house. So there we've got two, four, six, and a dog, and they're trying to get this burglar in the house, but the pug's causing some problems. Have a look at this. The SWAT team can't control the pug. What chance have they got to get an armed robber when they... Look, nope, oh, 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 who's going to get him? You? No, no, Kiefer, you get him. No, 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 no. You get him. Oh, no, 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 I'll bugger it. Let's just uh, worry about the the uh, armed robber in the SWAT team. Please, turn it up. Now, um, we've got the, um, this week we saw the golf. And uh, a young man, and, and even... Spud, I think you were getting a little bit ahead of yourself earlier what on way? in the show when what we were way? talking about uh, put you yourself, yourself in Donald, Donald Bradman. Bradman. Oh, well, look, you know, tongue in cheek. Well, you know, we just like to just keep a lid on things. And in the golf, we had the um, WGC Cadillac Championship, and it was Patrick Reed who won the tournament. Young fella, 23 years of age, won his third tournament, but he thinks he's one of the all time greats already. Yesterday you told us that you feel like you are a top five player in the official world golf ranking. What gives you that belief? Yeah, I mean, I've worked so hard. I've won a lot in junior career, did great things in amateur career. Now I have three wins out here on the PGA Tour. I mean, I just don't see a lot of guys that, uh, you know, that, can, that have done that. I mean, besides for Tiger Woods, of course, and then all the other, you know, legends of the game. Now, he's won a couple of million for that tournament, so he might be able to buy himself a shave, but just getting ahead of himself there a little bit. Old, apparently a ripping fella, but uh, putting yourself in the category of those legends, please, turn it up, Patrick. Now, we've got a new comp on, the, yes. uh, the quiz, yes. and it's yep. going, going to be fantastic. All the players are going to be coming in, but uh, over in the United States, a very famous uh, competition called Family Feud. Great See show. that, boys? Yeah, yep, good well, show. Sometimes in there, good you show. get in there, the red light goes on, and if you're a contestant, sometimes you just don't think straight. Have a look at this. Name something you pull out. Your uh, car. Your car. Andy. Your penis. <laughs> Look at old mates. That's me. Oh, my shot. Oh, <laughs> Turn it up, you. How do you reckon well, the host handled it? Oh, he was got so <laughs> He had nothing. He had absolutely nothing. Oh, no. turn really it up, good. young lady. Yeah, there we go. First yeah, good up, start, I reckon. First show, very, very impressive. Well, but actually, I want to take you to task on one thing. You belt on all the time when you come in. You invited me to play basketball with you, and you talk about how it's a great sport. Yeah. So hard to play. Have a look at this vision. Would probably That's be a bit of an indictment on your sport, dunk. how easy it actually is. Slam dunk oh. Oh. Oh, and he actually learned really An otter. Look at this. He An otter. He's stuffed that one. <laughs> actually, that's something you have never done. Did you actually do that? Well, well I, no, I did occasionally, very rarely. You can check it out on YouTube, but let's not go into that. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, but what I did do oh, is I could knock oh, down the shot. And I don't know if you saw it last week, fellas, but myself and Jack Rewalt was mm -hmm. down there at uh, MSAC and shooting some baskets for charity. Did Straight I get from... Oh, this one. No. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. <laughs> no. Great highlight, oh, <laughs> yeah, so we gonna bring... for that? Are we still going to bring that out all this year, are we? <laughs> yeah, Why not? <laughs> Until I get another bit. <laughs> well, this, uh, I was there at MSAC, like I said, and um, from the middle of the court, how hard do you think it is? Oh, it's just going my friends. Now boys, <laughs> sometimes the game comes easy to some of us. 
ball did bang. Go, the ball from did the center. Of, the ball did go out of camera shot. <laughs> no, no, that was, but it was an absolute fluke. I mean, we, we I could add a, a fifty of those, and it was just lucky enough that the first one went in. One from one. <laughs> Oh, no. Nice. Very good. Very lucky. Extraordinary. All right. Uh, one of the most popular segments of this show since its inception, to be brutally honest, has been Spud's assessment of players that can cause a little bit of grief for the blokes in charge, the coaches. And Spud, Coach Killers, is uh, it, it grows every year and is growing again this year. It's gone to uh, world sport. Uh, one of the greatest uh, cricketers of all time, Alan Border, is now a disciple. Let's have a listen to the great AB. The drop catches uh, for South Africa. They may have even missed him in a run out as well, but that was the first one in the deep, Stewie. <laughs> you, you can't do that. You cannot drop that. That's a coach like killer. AB saying a coach killer. Yeah, yeah, well, he watches our show religiously. So, um, without any further ado, let's throw to my stinger. Like the new Stinger Boys have been working on that one. It's oh, the same one. I thought you might have freshened it up a little. It's a good one, though. It's a good one. You'd have a but, few more uh, sprays in the vault, surely. Now, look, um, the NAB Challenge, I'm going to let those boys just... Uh, I'm going to give them a pass, right? I'm just going to let them... Uh, but I'm, I'm watching this weekend, right? So I'm right on the... So I'm going to go to World Sport, the, the Oval Ball. Um, check out this pickle here. Uh, the Cardiff goalkeeper blooper. Have, really have a look at this. Have a look. What's this? Really now, <laughs> if you would think... Your number one rule is to hold your feet, your meat head. Look at him pointing. Look, have a look. He gets it. Look, look, there's error number one. Now, that's an absolute disgrace. Now, have a look at this. Just want to confirm yeah. one thing. That was the oval ball. That you oh, sorry, the round ball. Uh -huh. <laughs> very good, very good. Very good, very early, but uh, a bit rusty. Now, has there been any highlights? Hang on, before you go. Has there been one highlight of an AFL game so far? Um, not at this stage. No, probably We've been going for about 45 minutes <laughs> and get... haven't given AFL a look No, in. no, we're probably... still going to go for the round ball, Alistair, as you rightly uh, correct me. Artem <laughs> Burak from Southampton just got a little bit too cute. Have a look at this. Now, oh. now, come, oh. come oh. on, mate. Oh, no. That's like, crazy. Seriously. Oh. What an absolute meathead. But it gets worse, old Arta. Oh, no. 13 seconds into the bloody match. Oh, no. Have a look at old Arta here. Not the same bloke. Oh, yeah, same bloke. Have a look. There he is up the end. Look, he's squistling Nixie. <laughs> 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 oh, have a look, there he's thinking, oh, I'll just pick me nose, give the plums a bit of a rub, and oh, there it goes, I'm me bonds. <laughs> 13 seconds into the match. Oh, that's a setback. That's a long way to come back from, but look... Uh, all what? right, next week we're back in because yeah. we've got round yeah, one on the exactly weekend. Right. So the proper coach killers will be back. Tweet's still rolling Tweet in. in there, Drewy. Yeah, yeah, oh, plenty coming in. What about? Very happy with uh, the whole situation. The they whole like what set. you're bringing to the table? No, the whole set. Uh, the, what the, about the... the um the bonds. Yeah, Which way is it weighted? It's very sorry. heavily favoured that you've got the bigger bonds. So you're really? Gonna... Yeah, absolutely. It's coming through thick and fast, mate. <laughs> Your head's got its own solar system, seriously. <laughs> <Some> lunar <laughs> head. <laughs> well, hey, what have we got? About 15 minutes to get it off, the, the measure off? Well, we've got something we like got that. that, so yeah. Yeah. there we go. But, but a question without notice for the three yeah. of you. Right. Mm. When was the last time you wore nail polish? Oh, never. Can't never. Cl can't claim never that. On never. No. Never. Never. Not never. 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 All right, Who? more bounce on the other side of the break, including an AFL star wearing nail polish in a game. Ooh. <laughs> in a game? Welcome back to Bounce, our first Bounce of 2014 and our first appearance on a Wednesday night. Spud, I know you mm. gave the players mm. in the NAB Challenge a leave pass from Coach Killers this week yep. and we'll pick up the proper one next week, but what did you make of the NAB Challenge? Well, you can see why shortly, just the silky skills of Joe Watson. 45 minutes in. No undies, Mundies, and uh, Stevie J, David Asprey, Joe Danaher. The skills of these guys is why we go to the watch the footy. Oh, no. <laughs> now, that, that wasn't the one I meant to put on. Then we got um, Monday. Oh, uh, ma uh, hey! <laughs> now, Steve, now, he always does around the corner. <laughs> That's not showing us. Dave, this is Coach Killers. Joe, now this one's just see the follow through straight over, straight over the goal and pipe. <laughs> what, what is going on here? 
David oh, Ashby. Spud. No, this is, the out of the play. this is a stitch up from you. It's not me. I emailed in early in the week, put those beautiful kicks on. You've got hold of the email from Bill. Look down the lens and say that you didn't stitch me up then. I did not. I apologise to those players. Up I at thought they were. All. What's that? I didn't stitch you up at all. Not at all. It was your segment. Now, yeah, you said I someone... spoke a little bit before about a player wearing nail polish. Down in the rooms, preparing for a NAB challenge game, look very carefully at the pinky finger and you'll mm. recognise who it is. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. What's going on there, boys? Oh, no, hey, on. That's, that's the light off the camera, surely. Ha! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Just, and it's only well, centred on that pinky. Yeah, but maybe nail. it's bruised. You can see a little bit of bruising there. Maybe for the it's injury. mercurochrome. Pink mercurochrome. Yeah, I'm getting. Well, I'm just better. trying to look yeah, after it. <laughs> Must There's be no something. Please, if anyone knows what it was, please tell us. Because I, I don't life. reckon Travis would wear nail no polish. You no, need, I didn't pick it up. I need to get a life. Seriously, that. <laughs> You just cranked on six players for kicking it along the no, ground sideways. I didn't sideways. crank on them. I just found that did. interesting, and I'd like to find out exactly what it was, but is that okay? I think okay. you're talking about me getting alive. Yeah. You need to learn a few of the players' names, because this is what happens when you try to say two names at once. It's the next generation yeah. midfield coming through, isn't it? And, and look, Booty, but the Bulldogs midfield for mine, I think they've come of age now. We've, we've talked about Booty. When did Booney start Bo playing? Booney. Booney. That's a stitch up. <laughs> so, you tried to say Boyd or Cooney and you got it wrong. Look, I had the wrong spot. He played uh, district football with uh, Merv Hughes. District Boone? football? Dist district cricket. Booney? Booney. He did. David Booney. David Boone. Boone. Assistant, mate. He played with, have Tasmania. a look at this. He played with Merv yeah. Hughes. Your head oh, will explode in a minute. There you go. No oh, have a look at that shot. A great man with an Aussie cap on. <laughs> now, that is a stitch up. That is a stitch up of the you highest. You said Booney dish. twice in I don't the think... Bulldogs game. Now, look down, tell the viewer at home, I said it once, not twice. He said it twice. Once. Okay, now, one thing we do do here on Bounce is we are desperate for a Falcon. We love them. As long as no one gets hurt. Well, they've already started. We've picked up a couple in the NAB Challenge and a couple elsewhere. Have a look at big Aaron Sandilands. All seven foot of him. Oh, that's a stiff bounce. Oof. Straight up into the uh, boat race. Couldn't be happy about Ooh. that, Spade. Not too no, bad, though. Not too a, bad. It's a long bounce, isn't it's it? It's something. Sometimes it happens to big blokes. I don't know, Gazy, they're a little bit slower with no, their reflexes. No, sharp. You can't blame Tom Campbell for this one, but this may just be already the leader for 2014. Oh, no. It's going to have to be something serious to beat this bloke. Oh, oh that's, that's a cracker, isn't that it? That is Bird. a cracker. Now, that Spud, is. you're yes. a coach. I want you to give me the definition of the word synergy. Synergy? Hmm. <laughs> The definition of it? Yes. <laughs> well, you're in, you're in synergy. You're like, you're all in sync. You, you just, you're just synergizing around. <laughs> and, you, and you just, well, everyone we're not knows. <laughs> but it does seem that Leon that's Cameron, enough, coach yeah, of GWS, that's nothing like the definition. The yes, coach of GWS has a new word for the summer. They hung in there at times, they competed really well at times, the synergy centre forward wasn't great. You know, Mumford, first time, you know, linking up with some, some of the mids and that synergy needs, you know, it's only going to grow and grow and grow, but I think that synergy is going to grow. But it's like anything, it's creating synergy. It's just that synergy that they have to create, that synergy, you know, centre forward, if we're getting it in there, it just needs to probably be a little bit better and we're confident over the next three or four weeks we can, we can get that. Really? Six times, Leon? That's a good effort, isn't it? Not bad. It's All right, I think we're the... getting to the business end. No, he hasn't coached a game. Leave Bakes alone. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. We've all yeah. had coaches that have words that yeah, but yeah, He I'm doesn't here. know he's doing he's it. Got... All we're doing is doing him a favour and saying be careful of being No, no. Don't... Come on, don't delay uh, us. Let's get on no, with it. All right, about six oh, time oh, to no. measure the heads. Right, we're going to do this fairly. We're going to get the... Do it in the same spot for both of them. Same spot. This is fair measurement. We'll get it around here and we get to there. What do you got? We've got mm. a comfortable 62 and a half. 62 and a half yeah. for Spud. Oh. <laughs> 62 and a half. As Jason Veal says, yeah, Spud get it has, on the brow. Yeah, its, no, we'll do the same. Spud's head has its own gravitational. Uh, uh, force. Down lower, uh, uh, Lynchy. That's it. Down low. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, get it down lower on his brow. Get it down lower. Go ears. away. Clip him if he can. Go did. away. No, fist, Go fist. away. Oh, down lower. What have we got? Oh, no, you got oh, the wrong right. side. Got the wrong what side. What have we got? 60 and a half. No way! Oh! 
Who would have on that way? No, mate. No, That's how on. it is. I would have bet London to a brick on you having a... No, I need sense. another measurement. Sure, mate, there's another measurement. Well, two centimetres. It's, not, t- it's, it's miles there's smaller. There's got to be another measurement. I reckon you actually have a point. Now, it's something I'm big on. Definitely. Archimedes has got a water displacement theory. Yeah, well, now, what from is memory. It? What is it? From memory. <laughs> <laughs> Any object wholly or partially immersed in a fluid oh. is buoyed up by the force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced I'm, by the object. I'm happy with that. Okay. Right. Has anyone out there, no a medical institution, that can tip us into a piece Mate. of equipment that can measure this sort of stuff? It's not required. <laughs> It's not required. If we're doing this today, swimming pool, on those re- measurements, Spud's going to have to do his in Port Phillip Bay. <laughs> hey, before we go, Spud, on yep. a serious note, we do have to pass on uh, our condolences yep. to mm. the family and friends of Dean Bailey because the AFL lost one of their own. Yeah, Dean Bailey, uh, sad loss, 47 mm. years of age, uh, Karen Mitchell and Darcy. So our well, wishes go out to him. Hopefully yeah. all the coaches wear black arms for, for Dean Bailey. What a legend. See you next week. See well, you done, don't I? This has been a Fox Footy production for Fox Sports.